Welcome everyone to the latest Coffee Break webinar by RIB Costex. My name is Francesca Nottingham and I am a Costex consultant in RIB software. As you can see on screen, this month's topic is Working Area Tool. So we'll have a look at this feature and how to access it in Costex. For those of you who don't know what Costex is or for those who have never used it, Costex is a fully integrated measuring and estimating solution with universal applications, supporting everything from hand-drawn sketches to PDFs DWGs all the way through to 3D models, BIM files, and everything in between. As we can see from this matrix, RIB Costex is available in a variety of licenses, ranging from offering all functionality to a fairly limited option, depending on your estimating requirements. Delving deeper into each functionality, let's look at the components, breaking down how each of them are cohesive with one another, bringing you an all-in-one service. You have your takeoff options to start with, whether you're using 3D BIM or 2D drawings, Costex provides accurate data enabling you to utilize this data within your workbook. So our workbooks are just like Excel spreadsheets, but they are our own version. They still have the ability to use formulas and functions, making them very easy to navigate and use. We then have revisions tracking. Now this offers an accurate method of comparing a previous revision with a new one, giving you multiple ways to highlight, identify, and quantify any changes meaning you're always up to date with the latest cost implications. Once you've completed your estimate, you then have the opportunity to produce a report. Now we offer various standard report templates for you to use. Alternatively, you can customize your own report producing a professional quality output. Don't forget to check out the RIB Costex YouTube channel where we upload our Coffee Break webinars and you can also subscribe so you get notified of the latest videos and kept up to date with the newest features and how-to tips and tricks. So this month's webinar, as previously mentioned, we'll be reviewing the working area tool. So this tool is a feature that can isolate a certain area of a drawing and create a focus aligning with what you're trying to measure. For example, if you had a CAD drawing with multiple viewpoints in a paper space, you could use the working area tool to highlight the area you wish to focus on. So you're always measuring the correct viewpoint. When do we use it? Well, we use it in the dimension view as this is a drawing related feature. It can be used on any type of format, but it has more settings for a CAD drawing. Topics to be explored in this webinar. So we're going to be looking at how to access the working area tool and the benefits of using this feature. So let's take a look at the working area tool. So firstly, let's look at how to access the working area tool. So you need to be in your drawings tab at the top. And then you will see in the prepare section here, you've got this big button called working area. Now, this is actually a drop down menu, so we can select it and it will give us a few options. Now, the working area, as mentioned in the slideshow, is um, a way to focus on a area that you wish to measure. Now, if we're talking about a PDF um, and you just want to focus on a single area in this case the area that i've or the drawing that i've got open is um of a floor plan so let's say i just wanted to measure the top half um, and just really wanted to focus on that i can select set working area like usual with most costex features um if you hover over the item it will give you a brief description of what the feature actually does um, so here you can say you can see that it says uh, that it, we're going to create a rectangular viewing area. Okay, so once that's selected, all you do is come over to your drawing. Let's say I want to measure this top area here. All I need to do is just click or left click with my mouse, drag over a rectangular box. As you can see, I've now got focus on this area only. Everything else is greyed out. Okay, if you had measured that area and you want access to other areas now, then you can come back up to working area and you can select reset working area. As you can see, it's now come back uh, to the original state that it was in. So it creates a focus, it creates a view um, giving you the option to just focus on that area entirely. This becomes very useful if you're looking at details, for example. You may have a drawing which is um, a detailed drawing which has different details on it. it, might just not just have one detail, it might have a few. 
So I've got an example of this um, where, as you can see, I've got a couple of different details here. Now, these um, are actually at different scales. Um, so if I zoom in to this one, this has actually not got a scale at all. Uh, neither has this, but this does. Okay, so this little section or little detail down here is 1 to 50. So what I can do is I can actually create my working area. So let's just say I want to measure this area here. Okay, set working area. Again, just drag my mouse over the area that I want to focus on, which is this one. And now what I can do is set my scale to 150. Okay, so now when I go to measure, uh, everything in this working area will be set to 150. This is useful if you have different scales um, across a detailed drawing. Now, when I use the drop down menu, you will have noticed there's a couple of other settings here. So these are particularly useful with CAD drawings. So if I open up a CAD drawing, let's just go to one of these. Okay, so you've got two different options. You've got set working area as per file. Um, so as you can see from this description, so drawing lines and objects that are located entirely outside the new working area cannot be used for dimensions. However, they are still displayed. Um, and what this does is it basically creates the position, the window position last viewed uh, by the CAD operator. Okay, so if I set this, you can see this was the last viewpoint that the CAD operator used. If you had a um, paper space with different viewpoints on it, then this tool would be really useful if you just wanted to focus on one viewpoint. Um, again, you could still access the other one, but it just creates that focus in that interim period when you're just measuring from that viewpoint. So there is one last setting for CAD drawing. So if I come to my working area drop down menu, you can see we've got best match working area. Now, unfortunately, I don't have an example of this, um, but if we read what it says um, in the hint, then we will understand what this tool actually does. So this is for setting the new working area to an automatically calculated rectangular viewing area containing the majority of geometry. Now, this option is useful to focus the measurement on the drawing when it is in one location in space and a small number of lines have been drawn by mistake in another area away from the drawing. So again, if you've got different viewpoints, if you've got maybe different sketches on one uh, CAD drawing and you need to focus, um, then Costex is going to read the information. It's going to understand the best match um, to give you the best focus and it will ignore any other lines that have been perhaps drawn by mistake or just left there by the designer, um, giving you the best focus of the drawing. Okay, so I hope you find this tool useful. Give it a go and uh, get a focus on your drawings to make it easier to do your measuring. Hit the like and subscribe button if you found this useful and you want to know more tips and tricks on how to use Costex effectively and I hope to see you on the next one.